If the U.S. is to have a viable coronavirus vaccine by early next year, it's volunteers like Melissa Harding who will help make that happen. Everyone in my family is medical. My husband is a police officer, so we're all on the front lines and can be easily affected by it. So doing our part to eradicate it is very important to me. She's now part of the world's biggest COVID-19 vaccine study among 30,000 participants to test shots created by the U.S. government and the private company Moderna. Other vaccine candidates will be tested in coming months. We've been sitting on the sidelines passively attempting to wear our masks and social distance and not go out when it's not necessary. This is the first step of becoming active against this. The COVID death toll in the U.S. is greater than 147,000. More than 4.2 million Americans have been infected. That now includes Robert O'Brien, Trump's national security advisor. The White House says O'Brien has mild symptoms and did not expose the president. On July 10th, the two were together in Florida, the state that's now the U.S. epicenter with more than 10,000 infections a day. Porting members of the Florida Marlins have tested positive, throwing the U.S. professional baseball season into disarray. Meanwhile, unemployed Americans have stopped receiving federal checks of $600 a week. A Republican plan in Congress would resume those checks but slash the payment by two-thirds. Democrats say they won't agree, and a partisan battle is expected. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Maryland.